Okay, in this video we're going to look at the basics of doing a recovery. Uh, the first step in the process is really just uh, imaging the drive or creating a cloned copy of the drive. Uh, there's really a couple ways you can go about doing this. Um, there's certain applications you can utilize that will actually create a file uh, that is essentially just the contents of the hard drive uh, in an image file that then you would load into uh, whatever um, type of software or you know utility you might use for doing a logical type recovery um, but the first step is always going to be with any reputable company that does data recovery is to create a cloned copy of that original drive be it on a uh, another physical hard drive or creating an image file. Um, in most cases we prefer to go through and just create a cloned copy of the drive. Uh, a couple reasons for this. Primarily you want to do whatever you can to protect the integrity of the customer's data. Uh, if you go through and try to recover directly from the customer's drive uh, there's certain things you might do or, or you might uh, end up making the situation worse by operating the drive any more than it needs to be. Um, so we prefer to work from a drive that we know is mechanically sound and also uh, whatever we do is not going to alter the original um, integrity of the data that was there that the customer needs to get back. So on the left we have our, um, our source drive which is a customer's drive. It's a 120 gigabyte uh, SATA hard drive and we're going to be cloning that onto the drive there on the right and this is just uh, one of about 14 imaging stations that we have uh, here at our facility so I'll take you kind of through and just let you look and see what it is that we're doing during this process and kind of what it all what also it tells us and why this is a lot easier than for a data recovery company to utilize than let's say um, you know ghost or any other the the programs that are out there that you know essentially just create a clone copy of the drive but do it in a much different manner Okay, this is a display that we have in our imaging station. Um, the good thing about this is, is actually we can have it powered up and, and we don't have to have the drive actually powered up at this point. If the drive is right on the verge of, of mechanically failing, a lot of times we can avoid having to go into a clean room with it by utilizing this type of imaging process because it puts very little load on the drive. Right now the drive is not even powered up, so I'll go ahead and power that up. Up here it tells us the drive is busy. So it goes through and calibrates itself and becomes ready and now it shows it's ready so we'll go through and rescan which should load that drive information here which it does so that's going to be our source drive and this is our destination drive um, there's a few configuration um, processes that we need to go through in order to uh, get the drive ready um, to be able to be imaged uh, one thing we want to do is turn off any you know bad sector issues that it might have. If it comes across a bad sector, uh, we don't want it to try to reread re those bad sectors. We want it to be able to skip those. And we will go through and start imaging. The first thing it's going to do is load a map of that original drive onto our destination drive uh, so that it can kind of keep track of everything. And at this point right now, the imaging process has started. Over here is basically just the raw hex over to the right that shows you, you know, that is basically the data right there. Um, and then everything else included within the hex as well. Um, down here we start getting an idea of what we're looking at at data. We've got Microsoft Office files here. We've got about 520 of them so far. We're only 1% into it. We've already got uh, over 6,000, 7,000 uh, picture files right now and like I said we're only one percent into it. Now what this what's good about imaging a drive utilizing this type of process is the fact that when we hit a bad sector uh, it's not going to try to reread that it's going to go through and skip right past that it's going to hit that area and it's going to say oh I can't read that within whatever a lot of time that we have it set up for typically it's about 700 milliseconds or so um, and it'll make one sweep through the drive just like this, like it's going right now. Any bad sectors that it runs into, it's going to ignore those at this point, and it's going to skip about 120 sectors. So what it'll do is if it runs into a bad sector, it's going to skip the next 120 sectors, and just in case that there's an area there, the drive that's bad. And from there, what we'll do is it'll actually go through and complete the imaging process, 
and then it'll go back and start again and then it'll only focus on those sectors that were unread the first during the first pass and what that allows us to do is to be able to configure how it reads those sectors on that secondary pass so if we want to have certain parameters set up to where uh, let's say it spends a little more time on those sectors uh, we can have it ignore uh, any ECC errors that come up um, there's a lot of different things that we can do and all of it is with the goal of imaging the drive by putting the least amount of load on the drive that we can because right now this is a hard drive that when you go to this particular drive that we're imaging right now uh, when you connect this drive to a system uh, it won't even allow the system to load right now uh, it'll get to a point it hits some bad sectors and it just it'll sit there and steadily click steadily click and a lot of people assume even the customer that sent this in assume that the drive has a mechanical problem because that's what it sounds like it sounds like the heads are bad but as you can see right now we're getting a lot of data off of here we're about six percent into it right now we've already got seventeen thousand image files off of here and over a thousand uh, microsoft office type files um, and we're only seven percent into it um, but we haven't had to take this drive into a clean room we haven't had to go through and make any necessary repairs to it because even though this drive is right on the verge of possibly having a mechanical failure we're able to go through and save our customer quite a bit of money uh, without having to, to go that route um, simply because of the utilities that we use and the tools that we have here so basically this will go through and run and complete the imaging process and once that's done we will go through from there and actually do the recovery from that cloned copy that we have and we know that that drive is perfectly fine there's nothing mechanically wrong with it at all so that's how this works that's the first step typically in the process and uh, just wanted to show you a little bit of how we go about doing these some of these recoveries we have a couple other videos out showing us uh, doing some of the physical recovery work uh, swapping out heads things like that but if you've had uh, some data loss or you have an issue with your hard drive at this point feel free to give us a call our number is 1-800-717-8974 you can also visit us on the web at www.acsdata.com we don't charge any evaluation fees and we don't charge any attempt fees if the data is not recoverable thanks for taking the time to watch this and have a great day